I got the street blocked off. No way out. I got the street blocked. You're not going anywhere. I got the street blocked. Yep, she's taking off, but she's blocked in. That's my car. Stop! Stop! There's nowhere for you to go. Stop! 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 She's ramming my cruiser. Stop! 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 Let me units quick. Stop! 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 Put it in park! Cut it out! Police say that suspect then led officers on a multi-city chase that ended with her and seven officers in the hospital. Police say Casperson would go on to hit another cruiser at Brass Mill Way, then lead police on a pursuit that ended in Monroe when Casperson struck seven police cars before crashing into a utility pole. The totality of the damages to all those cruisers you saw was about $135,000. All the officers, seven, seven out of the eight officers, uh, ended up uh, in the hospital, um, ranging from uh, neck strains, lower back strains, uh, multiple contusions, knee contusions, wrist and hand contusions, uh, all, all sustained from the accident from airbags going off. Casperson also ended up in the hospital with a broken femur and dislocated hip. Wanted for her alleged role in more than 40 car break-ins. Police had previously taken into custody Thomas Crawford. Chief Fernando Spagnolo believes the two have a drug problem and says they have continuous problems with Casperson. Although she doesn't have a lengthy history, Casperson is known. Uh, to the judicial system, to law enforcement. Neighbors of the complex say they are shocked this happened with just two suspects. And I was able to get someone to come and fix it the same day, and you could see all the other cars are still bandaged. 